Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're going through the equations of a circle so you can answer questions from exercise 6c. So before we get started what I just want to consider is the coordinates that follow this rule here x squared plus y squared equals 25. So let's uh, consider the basic coordinate of 5, 0 first. The 5 squared will give us 25 add 0 squared is 0 will equal 25 here. So that's the real basic coordinate here. Also we'll have 0, 5 because 0 squared add 5 squared is 25 and as will the negatives as well. Now what we'll have also seen from a bit of Pythagoras' theorem is that 3 squared plus 4 squared will also equal 25. So 4 and 3, 3 and 4 will also be on this uh, equation of this line here. As will 3 minus 4, because negatives um, are going to get squared to make positives as well. And minus 3 minus 4, and minus 4 minus 3 will work. And minus 4, 3, and minus 3, 4 will also be on the equation of this line. And we could also fill it in for all of these decimal numbers here. Um, you just have to pick an x value and then find the associated y value. And if you do that, you're going to get... Uh, the equation of a l circle that looks something like this. So what we'll have noticed here is that this value at the end here, to get the radius, we need to square root this value to get our radius r, which in this case here is 5. So any distance from the centre here to the uh, red line here, the circle, will be a distance of 5. And you can see here how it will also link into a bit of Pythagoras' theorem in that 3 squared along the base, add 4 squared along the height, will equal our radius squared. So it links heavily in with Pythagoras' theorem here on this circle. Okay, so what we're going to look at then is the general equation of a circle. And to move the circle uh, around a little bit to a different centre, we'd have to then, if our centre is AB, then here is the equation. So we're going to need x take away that uh, x value of the center uh, at squared add y minus this y coordinate for the center squared equals the radius squared just like we found from before where the square root of 25 is 5 to get the radius. So for example if we have this uh, equation of this circle here then from this 5 value here we're going to translate this uh, 5 units left and on the y value, we're going to translate this 7 units up at the centre of 4 squared, a uh, radius of 4, and we square it at the end. So in this case here, the diagram for this with a centre of 5, 7 and a radius of 4 is going to look something like this. Now be really careful when you sketch your coordinates, um, when you sketch your circles, because the radius here is 4, so it's not going to overlap any of the axes. And that's a key part of drawing a, a correct diagram in these circles questions. So moving on to a couple of examples. Here we're going to have x plus 3 squared add y minus 1 squared equals 4 squared. So here we're going to have a centre of minus 3 because it needs a, uh, a negative times by the a. So minus 3, 1 will be the centre of this circle, and the radius in this case is going to be 4. Okay, this will generally be written as 16 on the end here, so just remember to square root that 16 to get the radius of 4. Okay, what about this slightly more difficult one here? Well, the centre in this case is just going to be at the negative of negative 5 over 2, and the negative of 4, so that's minus 4. And the radius in this case here is going to be the square root of 32. So we always have to square root this number at the end. 4 root 2. Okay, so on to a slightly different question. Now show that uh, x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 20 has a coordinate that passes through 5 minus 8. Well, what we can do, given that these are just x and y values, is substitute them into the equation of our circle. And hopefully, on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side, we'll get a value of 20. So, do the maths on it, and we get 2 squared add minus 4 squared equals 20, and that will give us 4 add 16 equals 20. Bosh, we've got that right. So, 
5 minus 8 will definitely be appearing on this circle. OK, a slightly different question now. Uh, the line AB has diameter uh, A and B, where A and B are 4, 7 and minus 8, 3, respectively. Find the equation of the circle. So we've seen from before that the center, the, the midpoint between these two coordinates is going to be the center of the circle. So what we have to do first, do a little sketch to help you visualize it, is find the midpoint between minus 8, 3 and 4, 7. So you can go ahead and use the formula or just find the midpoints between the x values and the y values and we get minus 2, 5. So the center of this circle is going to be at minus 2, 5. So that's part of the equation of our circle. So we'll have this value here and this value here. But what we need now is the value of the radius. So what we can do now is just find the distance between a pair of coordinates. So let's work with this set of coordinates here. We want the Pythagoras uh, hypotenuse distance along this line here, which is in green. And we can get this by working with our coordinates. So going along, we have to go from minus 2 up to 4, which is a distance of 6. And from 5 up to 7 on the y coordinates, that's a distance of 2. So now we just need to do a bit of Pythagoras uh, work. And we get 6 squared plus 2 squared which is going to equal square root of 40. So that's our radius. Now, I wouldn't find out the decimal value of the square root of 40. I'd just leave it as the square root of 40 for now, because when we come to substitute it in uh, to the equation of our circle, we're going to have a center at minus 2, 5, and a radius of the square root of 40. But because that's going to be squared, that's just now going to become 40. So replacing our values here, it's going to be a minus 2 coordinate for the centre, so that means it's a plus inside the bracket, and it's a 5 uh, for the y coordinate centre, so that means it's a minus 5 next to the y, and then it's going to be the square of the square root of 40, so that gives us a 40. So this is the final equation for our answer here. If we know two coordinates on our circle, and then we form a diameter, then we can easily find the equation of our circle. Sometimes what they like you to do as well is do a bit of double completing the square. Now what we're going to do here is complete the square with the x variable and then with the y variable afterwards. So just a reminder, what we have to do with completing the square is take the coefficient of the x or y term and half it, and it goes inside a bracket. So they've just rearranged it here. So it's going to be x minus 7 squared, and then remember we have to take away this minus 7 squared, which is 49. And then half of 16 is 8, so we're going to take away 8 squared as well afterwards. And we'll also take away the 12 that's lingering on at the end here. Now what we'll do is we'll simplify all of these spare numbers that are at the ends of the equation and take it over to the right hand side. So what we've done here is we've completed the square of the x variables and the y variables. So taking the 125 onto the other side and we get x minus 7 squared plus y plus 8 squared equals 125. So we know here that the centre of our circle is going to be therefore at 7 and minus 8 with a radius of the square root of 125, which can be simplified to 5 root 5. Right, OK, your turn to have a go at a few questions now. Pause the video and see how you get on. Right, so let's have a go at these questions then. Question 1b, write down the equation of a circle with centre minus 4, 5 and radius 6. So what I'll do is I'll substitute these values into the general form for the equation of a circle. Equations of circles always look like this. So it's going to be x plus 4 squared, because I'll have the negative from here and the negative from here, so make a positive value here. I'll also have y minus 5 squared, and if the radius is 6, then on the other side of the equation I'm going to need a 36, 
because I need to square my radius. So that's the final answer to question 1b. Question 4, the point 4 minus 2 lies uh, on the circle with centre 8, 1. Find the equation of the circle. OK, well, let's draw a little sketch so we can visualise what's going on here. Uh, the centre is at 8, 1. And we have one coordinate that lies on the circle, and that's at 4, minus 2. So our circle is probably going to look something like this, 4, minus 2. Now, what we can already substitute in is going to be x minus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals, uh, so this is into the general form of a, sorry, no, I've used the wrong coordinate there, haven't I? Uh, it's going to be x minus 8 squared add y minus 1 squared. Um, that's the centre of the circle that we're working with there. And then we need the radius. So what we need to do now is just work out the distance from 8, 1 to 4, minus 2. Now we can see here on the x-axis it goes along 4, and it's going to go up by 3, from minus 2 up to 1. So 4 squared add 3 squared is 25 squared, 25 is 5. So therefore my radius squared, which is what I need at the end of my equation of a circle, is 25. So here's the final answer. x minus 8 squared add y minus 1 squared equals 25. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Make sure that you have a go now at exercise 6c on page 119. Make sure that you do lots of practice, persevere through the difficult questions and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Right, thanks for watching.